Okay, so let's go a little bit more into the hypocrisy of this administration and how on one hand, they tell you and they were voted in and we heard this. I heard this from all of my good liberal friends. Biden is not an extremist. He's an elderly man who will bring the country together. Uh, but it just isn't the case. that They're the ones ushering in the extremism. They're the ones who ushered in the extremism when they were using their foot soldiers to burn down our cities. Here is video of Biden advisor Keisha Lance Bottoms. There's a name. Keisha Lance Bottoms. Uh, and she is making it quite clear about what she thinks of people who don't like Joe Biden. The Institute for Strategic Dialogue, which tracks hate speech, said after the Biden speech, there was a surge online in conversations that said Biden's remarks singling out MAGA Republicans were interpreted as a declaration of war against conservatives and all the Trump voters. Well, what I would say to that is that this is what this, this MAGA agenda has been all about. It's been about distorting the truth. It's been about misleading people. It's been about putting out information that inflames people. And I just encourage people, go to the White House website, whitehouse.gov, and read the speech for yourself. I've read it multiple times, and what I see in this speech, I see words of encouragement, I see optimism, I see a commander-in-chief who is calling out to all of us, no matter our political affiliation. All of us? He wasn't calling out to the MAGA supporters, certainly. He, he mentioned them more than a dozen times and as a threat to democracy. Has the president essentially given up on those MAGA Republicans, some 70 million people? Well, what the president has done is said that he will continue to work with mainstream Republicans, that he will work with Democrats, that he will work with independents to get things done in our country. But this MAGA Republican agenda, this hate-fueled agenda, this MAGA Republican agenda that we saw incite violence on our nation's capital has no place in a democracy. And if we are not intentional about calling it out, which is what the president did, uh, then our country, everything that our country is built upon is in danger. How has President Biden bridged the divide? What has he done really to unify this country? The latest Quinnipiac poll has some really remarkable numbers. 69% of both Democrats and Republicans believe democracy is in danger of collapse, but the Republicans blame Joe Biden and the Democrats blame Donald Trump. Again, how has Joe Biden helped bridge that divide? Well, we saw it this summer when the president was able to work in a bipartisan way to get gun legislation passed. The president has always stood on the fact that he can work with mainstream Republicans to get things done on behalf of the American people. But it's also going to take for all of us to stand up to hatred. And what the president, again, continues to say, it's this MAGA agenda. The president has not called out all Republicans. He's been very specific about this MAGA agenda. Isn't it incredible? They never tell you what this extremist agenda is. I can only go by what the guy did for four years and it was pretty, pretty good, right? And I say that as a guy that didn't even vote for him that first time, okay? So what is, so they just keep saying it. They keep repeating it. Joe Biden will work with anyone. You know what's funny? Donald Trump would have worked with absolutely anybody, and he did when he was president. Actually, we just posted uh, the full video uh, is up right now on Locals, and I think the rest of it will be on uh, Rumble and YouTube this week. Uh, my interview with Jared Kushner, who's the president's, obviously, his son-in-law, who ushered in the Middle East peace deals, uh, and also was a senior advisor. And I asked him about that, and he basically said Trump was willing to work with anyone to get anything accomplished, and usually they would just hang up the phone or not take the call. Clip one will be up on YouTube and Rumble today. The full thing, as I said, is up on Locals already, absolutely ad-free. Oh, at 1.15 today, uh, clip, will, clip one of my interview with Jared will be up. Anyway, listen to what they say. So it's these MAGA Republicans who are violent. and They are extremists and all sorts of stuff. Well, I saw this incredible compilation video. Check this out. Remind me about the violent extremists. Hmm. Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans represent an extremism that threatens the very foundations of our republic. MAGA Republicans do not respect the Constitution. They do not believe in the rule of law. They do not recognize the will of the people. And they fan the flames of political violence. 
that are a threat to our personal rights, to the pursuit of justice, to the rule of law, to the very soul of this country. They embrace anger. They thrive on chaos. The willingness to engage in political violence is fatal to democracy. More and more talk about violence as an acceptable political tool in this country. There is no place for political violence in America, period. None, ever. You know, it's interesting, Phoenix, my producer just said something interesting to me during that. He said, it's textbook Orwell. It's weird to see in real life. But what a great juxtaposition of the language of the left versus the action of the left. Where was Joe Biden and all the Democrats when they were burning down all the cities? When I lived in Los Angeles and a mob literally went by my house and people knew where I lived uh, and all of that stuff, where, where were they on that? Were they calling for calm uh, or were they screaming more about Black Lives Matter and Antifa and fueling the flame? By the way, whatever happened to Black Lives Matter? Did they ever solve any of the problems? Oh, it turns out that the leader of Black Lives Matter, I think he came out this weekend, he embezzled like 10 million bucks. Uh, so they are the ones who have used violence. And that doesn't excuse any violence that may or come out of the right, right? If on January 6th you did something illegal and you broke something, you burned something down or something, okay, fine. I, I, be I believe in equality. So anyone that breaks the law should be in trouble. But everything that Joe Biden just accused the MAGA, the dark MAGA Republicans of, is exactly what his foot soldiers have been doing.